Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV, welcome to the festival again. Can you please tell us a bit about your time at the Berlinale as the director of this film festival? Oh, well, I was 21 years here, so there's a lot to be said. Yeah. But let's say this. Long before I was here, I was uh, I had a close friend, which was Manfred Salzgeber. Yes. And that's a little bit how everything started with the gay teddy bear. Yeah. I did not attend the very first teddy bears, which were in a library. Yeah. But soon after, I was always present yeah. at the official party. Yeah. Uh, I supported it very much, right from the beginning, for several reasons which I will not want to get into, but... All right, yeah. Uh, there was even one moment when there were some pretty heavy uh, financial problems with the gay okay. teddy bear. Yeah. So I had tried to help by diverting some sponsor Yes, yeah. yeah. Don't tell it too loud. Yeah. But uh, I think it's a very important event. Yes. It's part of the Berlinale. It's a unique. Yeah. What can I tell you more? Well, maybe about just that political part of having in an A-list big, one, one of the most major film festivals of the world, having such an award. And it was the first time when a festival like this introduced. Well, I mean, like Berlin that. was always a very open gay town. Yeah. At least after the cancelling of the old condemnation, which was in yes. the, it was also Manfred's problem. Yeah. And uh, I think there was never a, any opposition to it, really. At yeah. least not that I knew about it. Yeah. Certainly there were people somewhere talking against it, but who there cares? Yeah. I mean, it's even today, there's discrimination against gay people, so... Absolutely. That, that, I mean, that is part of Absolutely. the reality of, of, of our society. Yeah. But I have no hesitation whatsoever. Yeah, too. In supporting the gay teddy bear. Yeah. And uh, helping as far as I could yeah. to make it. Yeah. And how do you see how did, from the very beginning, from that very first moment when, when the teddy was born within this film festival, the trajectory of this award? How did it develop and how did it provide queer filmmaking and queer lives with more visibility? Well, I think from the moment it started, there was also a, a gay jury, yeah. which was at the beginning maybe a little bit more underground, but it very soon became quite openly public, as far as I could see. And um, I mean, there was no discrimination whatsoever th th those days. Of course, the best gay, gay teddy bear was the one I received. Yeah, <laughs> tell, tell us about that. Tell us about that was my you, last year. you getting a teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. What still, did it mean to you? It's still at home. Well, I'm part of it. Yeah. It's part of what I did. Yes. I keep it there. It's at home. It's quite yeah. in sight. Maybe, maybe one, the, there's something which between Wieland and me we somehow disagree a little bit. <coughs> the gay teddy bear is on a stone. Mm -hmm. And for Manfred, this stone was one of the stones which in 68 were thrown in the streets of Paris okay. by the May events. Yeah. Wieland delies this. Well, let's go and see. Yeah. Well, there the are. Pavé de Paris, they call it, you know. Mm. Yeah. Which come from the streets. Yeah. Which meant, well, it meant a little bit like Stonehole. Yes. Stonewell, I mean, you know. Yeah. The fighting for the freedom of gay people. Yeah, fight and resistance. Yeah, thank you so much for being here with Don't us and it. sharing these these beautiful memories. Um, we wish you all the best. Enjoy the festival, thank and you. it was very lovely to have you back here thank with you, thank us. You. Thank you.